Hey there, great that you can join us. My name is Inez and I'm going to help you create luminous monsters, robots, and greeting cards. In this mission, you will discover all about electrical circuits. You're also going to create your own fluorescent monsters. But what exactly is an electrical circuit? An electrical circuit is a path along which electrical current flows from the one end to the other end. Such an electric circuit always contains a source of electricity. Often, this is a battery. If you were to place an LED light on this path, the electricity runs through the light and it illuminates. Inside the ball, negative current parts collide with positive electrical parts. This makes them lose energy, and you can see this energy in the form of a light beam. A LED has a small transparent housing of just a few millimeters. This housing also functions as a lens which increases the light that is released. That causes the LED to have negative and a positive side, just like a battery. These negative and positive sides are indicated respectively with a plus and a minus. Always make sure that the plus side of the LED is in contact with the plus side of the battery. And, this is really handy, the plus pin of the LED is always a little longer, so you can tell the plus and minus sides apart. Before we're going to make the monsters, we're going to practice first. Jay is going to show you first, and then you may try it yourself. First, use the copper tape and stick it on. Try and do that in one piece. To fold a corner, you first fold it into the opposite direction, then to the correct direction. The same with the second part. You fold the pins of the LED to the outside and attach it with the two pieces of copper tape. Press it tightly together. To make it even more secure, you can always use a piece of scotch tape on top of it. Then, here is the battery, and fold the corner. It works! Let me explain why it needs to be done in a single piece. Often, copper tape only has one conducting side, one side that conducts the currency. Often, this side is the top side. If you cut into the tape, the currency may not be able to flow well, and then your LED will not light up. Does the tape break? No worries, just start over. Your turn. Did it work? That's awesome. Did it not work? It's possible that the battery is positioned wrong. Turn it around. And make sure that the pins of the LED are attached very securely. If they do not make contact, the LED will not receive current and it will not light up. Now let's get to work on the monsters. Choose a monster and do exactly what you just did. Cut the monster out. Attach the tape. Place the LED, only this time you first make a small hole for the LED to go through and you place the light the other way around the monster. Secure both pins of the LED with a piece of copper tape. Place the battery, fold it, and done. Your turn. Good luck. This worked too? That's just great. You've now discovered that an electrical circuit is a path along which electrical current flows from the one end to the other end. And that inside the LED, the electrical parts of this current collide, causing them to produce energy in the form of light. Now you may color your monster, make it as beautiful or as horrendous as you want. If you want your LED to continue to burn, you secure the battery with a paper clip. Of course, you may go on and create more monsters, or even better, you can design your own circuits. To help you get started, I've made a worksheet on which you can do that. Great that you joined us, and see you at the next mission.